but we all know that your property passes on your death. And so when you die, it is up to your estate to administer your assets. And this probate court case is about a Yahoo email account. As you listen to the arguments, you'll realize that now is the time that you must decide who will be allowed to access your digital assets. The matter is, this is just a newfangled form of property, but it is property nonetheless. This family found out that accessing digital assets is no simple matter when there is no plan in place. Their brother died in a bicycle accident in 2006 with no will. They asked the court to simply grant access to his emails. In their capacity as the personal representatives of the estate of their late brother, John Ajamian. But the court docket dragged on for more than a decade. Their brother was one of 200 million Yahoo users. The company provided headers and metadata, but refused to release the text content of the emails. Yahoo's interest is to not administer the estates of 225 million users who are all going to die. Uh, to take this kind of property out, the court would essentially be causing all kinds of extraordinarily valuable property, valuable to estates to go poof. The person in this case did not leave consent for his family to get access to the emails. Like more than half the people in Massachusetts who pass away, he did not leave a trust or a last will and testament. He was intestate, meaning no testament. Some 60 odd percent of uh, Massachusetts residents die intestate. So in those cases, it passes to the personal representatives and the personal representatives do with it what, what uh, they're duty bound to do. The family argued that data kept in a computer, the cloud, or an email box is like any other property that a person might keep in a box in their home. You don't know if you open that box if you're going to find U.S. savings bond or something more compromising. It's their duty nonetheless, Your Honor, to find the box, open it, and decide what they're supposed to do with it. But 50 years ago, Grandpa didn't have access to the cloud where he could hide stuff that he didn't want his heirs or executives to see. I mean, this is different. Your it's Honor, not the box under the bed. Your Honor, it's not different. It's just a different storage medium. Um, people today store all kinds of things in the cloud, and they use Yahoo Mail to send their most personal communications to their spouses, to their friends, to their lawyers, to their doctors, to their lovers. You need to put everything in the cloud, put your banking information, put your manuscripts, maybe put your illicit emails with your paramour. If you don't want them to be found, just like grandpa, when he had his box under his bed, don't leave them there. Delete them when you get them if you don't want somebody to read them. Destruction is one way to control digital assets. But to protect and preserve digital assets, you need a written estate plan. Well, you can leave consent in your will, you can leave passwords behind, you can leave instructions. An inventory of your email accounts, photos, data, work product, and all other digital assets is our first step towards preparing estate planning documents that will protect your digital assets. The inventory makes you aware of the existence of your digital assets, the location of digital devices where the assets are stored, and whether or not the digital assets have financial value. To get started, let's first think about tangible personal property. Think about a picture I take with this instant camera. Both the camera and the picture that it takes are not digital assets. They are tangible personal property that I own. So both of these items of property are already generally handled in a simple will with no special language or clauses. But if I take a photo with a phone, which is a digital device that I own, the photo image may be stored on a computer that I own or in a cloud server that I do not own. If it is in the cloud, I own the rights to the photo image, but someone else controls the digital device where it is kept. Consider these important questions. Which digital assets do you want to save and pass on? What access do you need to give to the personal representative of your estate so that he or she can distribute the digital assets? And who will inherit and own your digital assets? Estate planning documents that define digital assets, coming up in part two.
Thank you.